Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel, Bree's Arts. So today is very exciting because I am collaborating with Dave from Dave's Wreaths and Things. I love Dave. He is so crazy talented. He makes the most amazing wreaths and other DIYs as well. And he is such a nice guy. Incredible. So I will talk about him a little bit later in the video, but our theme today is Father's Day. And so we wanted to do some manly DIYs. So hopefully you can become inspired to make something for your dad, for the father of your children, for your grandfather, for any special man in your life. Now, with that being said, let's jump into the first DIY. All right, you guys, manly DIY number one. Now, this one is for my brother, Sean. He's one of my best friends. And we're going to take this bottle decor that I found at Dollarama. It's very cute by itself, but of course, we're going to spruce it up a bit. So I just removed the hardware from it. That is a bottle opener. And then I just took the hanger off of the top, sanded it down so that the paint would here adhere a little bit better. And we are going to use white chalk paint by Rust-Oleum. I ran out of my folk art <laughs> white chalk paint, but this works actually really, really good. It's the first time I've used it. So just paint it up. I did give it uh, two coats just to make sure I got good coverage. And then I am going to use my Antique Wax by Folk Art, and we're just going to make this look like wood. So using our chippy brush and making sure that you get those really nice um, brush strokes in there to make it look like actual wood. I do twist my brush every now and then just to give it something that looks like a knot in the wood as well. I love this technique. I honestly think it just legit looks like wood. And make sure that you get the sides, bottom, everything. <laughs> Come on girl, paint that thing up. <laughs> All right, and so now, we are going to take some Mod Podge and seal this baby up. This is the hard coat Mod Podge. So um, I did two coats of the Mod Podge just to make sure it was nice and sealed. Now we're gonna take one of these cutting boards that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And I am just going to give this a coat of the antique wax as well. paint it up <laughs> and I printed this decal off on my Cricut on my 813 stencil vinyl and I'm just using my white chalk paint to dab on the on the stencil and it's so funny you guys this is perfect for my brother for real it says barbecue timer and then it says rare one beer medium two beers and well three beers so <laughs> it's actually perfect <laughs> and just weeding out that vinyl isn't it satisfying love it again I could watch vinyl being weeded all day all right so I took the bottom of a heart that I got off of a Valentine's Day sign from Dollar Tree and I'm just tracing the top of this beer bottle because I wanted to make a cap and it's really really easy to cut if you have this kind of galvanized metal just hanging around from other projects and whatnot so again just traced it out and I cut it out with my scissors 
And this is exactly why we don't throw anything away because this metal was legit just sitting in my scrap pile. So, and it worked out absolutely perfectly. It was the perfect size. So yay me for keeping my garbage from other projects. <laughs> So I'm just finagling with it a little bit here, making sure that it's nice and straight. And then I am going to use some super glue to adhere this on. This metal and hot glue don't really go well together. I will put a little bit of hot glue just for the immediate hold while the super glue sets, but make sure you have a different kind of glue other than hot glue for your metal. And just like that, our bottle has a cap. <laughs> Isn't it cute, you guys? Oh my goodness, I am so in love with this. It's so great. There we go. Now just taking some to wine and just finishing off the, the bottle cap there. I just wrapped it around a few times um, and hot glued it in the back there. And just taking my long reach match and just burning off all the little hairs on that twine. Now I have this mason jar just sitting around. This is like a medium sized mason jar, I would say. And what we're gonna do, this is going to catch the bottles that fall after, or sorry, the bottle caps <laughs> that fall off when you use the bottle opener. So just drilling some holes in there and we're just going to secure that uh, little mason jar onto our sign with some twine. Um, my poor ladybug, she has a band-aid. She's, she's busted. <laughs> she is looking busted. <laughs> and I just take some masking tape and put it around the end of my twine so it's easier to thread through those little holes that we just created with our drill. Wrap the twine around the jar a few times and then do the same with the other end. And then we are just going to um, just flip it over and adhere it with some hot glue, tie it, adhere it with hot glue, tie it again, make sure that it's nice and secure. So there we go, our little jar is nice and secure. Perfect. Now this little raw wood sign i got at michael's like a really long time ago i have no idea what i paid for it but it was perfect for this project if you don't have something that's similar then i'm sure you could find a piece of wood or use a sign from the dollar tree and i i want to adhere or to secure this bottle really really well onto the sign so i did drill a couple of holes grab some longer screws and then use that bottle opener as a uh, hardware to actually attach our bottle to the sign and then i got these hooks from the dollar tree and i think they come in a four pack for buck 25 so that's pretty sweet and I'm just drilling some holes in here just so that I can get those screws in so that we can attach our hooks onto this wood sign. So these are gonna hold our barbecue utensils. My brother's gonna love this, oh my goodness. I don't, I don't know how functional it's actually gonna be, but you know, it'll be on the side of his, of his house hanging by the barbecue. <laughs> and now we're just going to take the little sign that we made out of the cutting board and adhere it to the larger sign <laughs> with some E6000 and some hot glue. E6000 is for permanent hold. Hot glue is for the immediate hold. Just schmoosh it down there and there we go. 
And I just decided to finish this off with some nylon rope from the Dollar Tree. It's in the automotive section. So, and so are those hooks. So we're using some manly stuff for these manly DIYs. <laughs> and I'm just gluing that all the way around just to finish it off. And that is it, you guys. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. And my bro is totally gonna love this too. It's so great. <laughs> Right, you guys manly DIY number two and this one is for my dad and we call him pops just so you know I'm sure he'd let you guys call him pops too <laughs> and so we're taking this wood sign I think I got this at Walmart again a really long time ago I'm kind of going through my stash here and we're gonna use this bath mat that you can get at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just measuring it out to fit inside the frame here. And then I am going to cut it out. It's super easy to cut. Um, I love this bath mat. It took me forever to find them, you guys. And then I finally found them, so I grabbed a couple. So just cut it down to size so that it fits perfect. And now we are going to paint this baby up. So I'm using Maui Sand by Folk Art. It's like a dark gray brownie color. And I'm just going to give this two coats. When you're painting on this plastic, it does kind of look streaky, especially when you hold it up to the light. Now I know that this isn't going to be up to the light, but I did want to make sure that I did get full coverage. And now using my Parisian Gray, we're going to do the galvanized look on this. So grabbing my stencil brush from the Dollar Tree, and we're just going to pounce that up and down, dab, 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 on the entire thing. Dab, dab, dab. <laughs> there we go. All right, and then taking some black chalk paint, we're gonna do the same thing, just to give it, you know, that galvanized look. And I just think it turned out amazing, you guys, no joke. It gives it so much dimension as well. And you, you know, you go a little bit heavier in spots and lighter in spots and it works amazing. And here's a close up. You see, you guys. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this for real. It looks so good. Just like metal. Check it out. <laughs> and just to finish it off here, too, we are going to use, I believe this is Sheepskin by Folk Art. And, you know, just in little spots, just give it a little dash of lightness, maybe where you put a little bit too much of the black paint and it just finishes the look for this galvanized metal. Can you believe that's a bath mat? Oh, it blows my mind. And so now we are going to hot glue our bath mat into the middle of this frame here. And I just went along, like first I went into all the little bubbles, but that really didn't work very well because they're concaved. So I just decided to go along each one of the straight lines there in between uh, with some hot glue and adhere it all the way down. Just like that. And it fits so perfectly. 
and taking one of these little welcome signs from the Dollar Tree, I just popped the welcome or the back out of it, and then the welcome came off like no problem. You will notice I'm taking out some of the there's little nails that um, attached the back of the sign to the frame there, so I'm just pulling those out with my pliers and then prying up that welcome sign. It came off in one piece, like no issues whatsoever. And then I am going to sand down the the frame a little bit. Actually, my the the frame of this and the frame of the bigger piece there matched pretty well, so I, I'm not even going to do anything to them. And the shapes were perfect too. So I'm just going to take my Rust-Oleum Linen White chalk paint and give that a coat of, of paint. I, I actually think I did two coats here of the white chalk paint. And I printed this decal off on my Cricut. It says, Pops, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> and I used like a metal looking vinyl. You guys, it didn't work very well. Um, it was really hard to weed. It was really hard to work with. I would not recommend it. It was, it didn't work very well. And then we're going to hot glue that back into the frame and make sure you get all your little hot glue smooches out of there. <laughs> There's always one, isn't there? Always one. And then we're gonna hot glue that onto the other frame and we are done, you guys. Oh my goodness. Pops is going to love this. I think it turned out so great. Love it! So I just wanted to pop in here really quick to talk Dave up a little bit. He is, like I said, super, super talented. He makes beautiful wreaths, gives you tons of inspiration, and does very high-end DIYs. He is also a fellow Canadian, so please go show him some love over at his channel. I'm so excited to see what he has cooked up for this challenge. All right, you guys, last one, DIY yeah, number three. So this one is for my boyfriend, Andrew, and he is a great role model for my kids. And he also has a daughter named Kira. She's 10. Hi, Kira. I know that she watches my videos. <laughs> so we're just going to take some antique wax. This one is by Artcraft. I did get it at Michael's and we're just going to paint up these two by fours that I just found in my garage. All of the sides, front, back, sides, you know, the whole shebang. And snap. All done. And of course my hands are filthy. <laughs> so I printed these pictures just off on my printer on regular printer paper. And what we're going to do is we are going to Mod Podge these photos right onto our blocks of wood. So first off, I am going to take the photos and I'm going to rip the edges of them just so that they kind of blend in better with the wood. So I'm going to do that to all three of these photos, um, all of the edges and just make sure that they all fit on there. Gives them kind of like a rustic look to, to the pictures and it just looks awesome. I just love it. I love this so much. And just when you're, you know, ripping off the edges, just be super careful. You can do a very controlled rip with this. And I rip upward so that the white shows from the core of the paper as well. So just taking my Mod Podge and we are going to decoupage these 
photos right onto our blocks. So put a nice layer of Mod Podge on the wood and then go over top of the photos with the Mod Podge as well. Make sure they're nice and secured down there and we'll do that to all three. And now taking this beautiful scrapbooking paper that I found at Dollarama. It is so gorgeous. I've used this before in some of my DIYs. And we're going to use the, it looks like kind of like a newspaper print. And we are going to cut that down to go along the side of one of our two by fours. So um, it's about an inch piece like strip that I, that I cut off there. And we're gonna do the same thing, just grab some Mod Podge and smooge it on there and then put our piece of scrapbooking paper on there as well. And go over top with the Mod Podge, of course. Make sure it's all adhered down nicely. There we go, it looks awesome. And so now I'm just going to sand down our two by fours here, just to bring out the edges, give them a little bit more dimension. We'll do that to all four pieces. You can see that natural wood poking through. This is super rustic and it's, oh, it's so beautiful. I cannot wait to give this to him. He's gonna love it. And the same thing with the scrapbooking paper that I put along the side there. I'm just gonna use my sanding block and just rough up the edges a little bit. I didn't want them to be completely straight because it just wouldn't match with the project. So just going along, you know, moving the table all over the place, making you guys dizzy, I'm sure. Camera's moving all over. <laughs> but there we go, that looks better. And now I am going to just take my chippy brush and go along the scrapbooking paper just to kind of blend it in with the wood piece and, you know, rough it up, make it look rustic. And I will do that to the photos as well. just to blend them in. It almost makes it look like the photos are actually printed right on the wood. Looks so good. I love this project, you guys, and it's so easy, just, you know, some scrap wood. And so now I printed this uh, decal off on my Cricut, just using some white vinyl, and it says, strong hands, soft heart, which is absolutely perfect for Andrew perfect I love it so much and of course we are going to distress those letters down just a bit with our antique wax blend 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 <laughs> there we go and so I am going to take some wood glue and that is how we're gonna adhere these. Now you could take screws definitely and put them through on the bottom. I didn't have any that were long enough. So, um, and then of course some hot glue as well. Hot glue for the immediate hold, wood glue will keep this all together. And just do that to all three of the pieces. There we go. Isn't it great, you guys? Oh my gosh, I just love it. And so now, just as our finishing touch, I am taking some twine, putting it along the bottom of each of our two by fours, just to kind of hide that crease underneath and any glue that might be seeping out. And we are going to do that to all three of them. Don't mind my big noggin, as usual. <laughs> and just smooth that along. And legit, you guys, that's it for this. It's so easy, grab some scrap wood. It's amazing what you can do with just some scrap pieces. I really honestly think that this is just a work of art and Andrew is going to absolutely love this. It is just so pretty and rustic, right? Like, and very masculine. It's just fantastic.
right, you guys, that is it for our manly DIYs. I hope that you can find some inspiration and, you know, maybe make something for that special guy in your life. I want to send a huge thank you out to Dave for doing this collab with me today. Seriously, you guys go and check out his channel. You will not be sorry. He is amazing. And if you like what you see, do me a solid. Tap that like button, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all of that jazz. Stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye, guys. So, uh, <laughs> these are manly DIYs. So make something for that man in your love. <laughs> I feel like a commercial. What if you don't uh, have a man in your life? Uh, old spies. <laughs> So today is super exciting. I So I definitely had to put on my manly thinking cap. What is with this? I don't know. So in this collab, wait. Yes. So I put on my manly pants. <laughs> oh? Got some manly pants on. <laughs> oh. So how do we get to the other? Ooh. Ooh. Disco! <laughs> with Dave at Dave's Wreaths and Things. Wreaths and Things. That is a tongue twister. Dave, 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 he makes those wreaths. So Dave, if you need a jingle, we got your girl here. Abby in the house. <laughs> uh, I think I want to just adjust. Whoops, that's too much. Let me know, you guys. Is my like my setup for crafting? I know it's not the greatest. I don't have a lot of room where I craft, but I think with this ring light, it'll give me like better light it'll you you'll be able to see my crafting better wow. just going with the youtube flow you know wow. you know okay i i'm gonna go to uncle sean's and have a drink